my, my son's cancer. Uh, I'll give you a bit of a lowdown on what happened in 2014. Um, my son was at that time uh, three years, um, ten months, and he was, uh, he was diagnosed with uh, a condition called Wilms tumor. It's a very rare case of kidney cancer. It happens to a very small percentage of kids worldwide. And my son happened to be the part of the unfortunate percentage of kids. Um, this uh, discovery of this cancer, uh, the first uh, very bizarre symptoms were over a, a very usual brunch at uh, a five-star restaurant in Mumbai when we had come back from uh, um, a New Year trip in January. And um, there was no accompanying fever, there was no vomiting, there was no discomfort that my son had. He was extremely ill. He's a very, very positive, very, very energetic kid. And uh, that day he happened to pass blood uh, uh, in his urine. And we as parents obviously freaked out. Uh, we took him to uh, the nearest hospital. That's where we all get treated. That's in Khar Hinduja. And uh, his pediatrician, Dr. Ajit, there uh, did the tests. And we found uh, a nine centimeter tumor that was growing on top of his left kidney. And uh, you know, for any parent, <coughs> And I'll speak for ourselves, <clears throat> for me and my wife. Uh, when we heard the news, um, it's like the, the ground beneath our feet had been ripped off. Um, cancer, the perception of cancer uh, for a layperson like me, and I consider myself as a layperson because with education, with, you know, even staying in Mumbai, you've, you've, had, you've heard of people get cancer, but you don't actually go to the depths of it unless you have someone close to you uh, diagnosed with the disease. Uh, my perception of cancer was this monster that is going to take my son's life. Uh, because of a lot of things, you know, maybe the way it's been projected in the media, maybe the way the lot of, just the general vibe of what cancer has done worldwide. It has overtaken heart disease over the past decade. It's very prevalent um, in our country, in uh, rural and in, because of urbanization in most of the places. And you're constantly hearing about deaths related to cancer. And that was my you know, prime fear at that point of time, that this is going to take my son's life. The perception changed uh, when I started informing myself, when I started reading up a lot about cancer and demystifying a lot of things about this dreaded disease. I realized that 70 to almost 95% in my son's case, the prognosis is extremely good. Wilms tumor has one of the best prognoses as far as cancer goes. Uh, it's highly treatable. And that was very heartening for me to know. But I, that was a revelation that happened over the course of two months after reading. So I had an agonizing two months. And, um, but still, uh, you know, it really took the life out of us when we heard the news. There's no way of encompassing that in words or trying to explain what a parent goes through. Uh, it's, it's worse than being confronted with your own mortality, uh, hearing that your three-year-old son has got cancer. And uh, our lives have changed ever since, you know, we've started living a very new kind of normal. You make peace with the cancer in a way. It's this fact in the house. It's there in conversations that wasn't there. You can't wish it away. And uh, your, your perception changes and, and then you have to fight the good fight against this disease and, and make sure you, you, know, you don't let it get the better of you or your family. And, and, and that's exactly what we did.